Okay guys, so look, it's early in the morning and you don't have to have your biohacking routine. You don't have to have your uh, 10, 10 minute daily gratitude journal. You don't have to have your hot tub cold plunge, hot tub cold plunge on off for 45 minutes. Then you don't have to go out there and get two hour walk after. I'm a big advocate of working out, don't get me wrong. But if it doesn't get done, if your biohacking routine doesn't get done, you're okay. I promise you, you're okay. A lot of people, they get stuck in this routine of what the rich do, but the rich do it because they're already rich. They didn't do it before. <laughs> they, they have the time to go out there and cold plunge. They have the time. You don't have time. I don't have time. Fuck. We don't have time to be bullshitting for three hours. We have to get shit done. Oh, so many people say, why are you such an extremist? Uh, you need balance in your life. Yada, yada, yada. I'm such a big, I, I'm a disbeliever in all that balance bullshit. You think a master sensei needs work-life balance? No, just that dude's cutting up. He's, he's slicing stuff for hours, daily. That's why he's a master. You think a master sensei needs to do that? Absolutely not. So for me, from my instance, I'm slicing away. Trying to at least, in the midst of it. Just trying to slice away. Oh shit, missed that one. Missed that one. Made that one. Not a master yet by any means. But my time allocation, people call me an extremist, work-life balance, I don't believe in it. I don't believe in it. But let's get to this job. Welcome to it, guys. We're filling up right now. It's a minimum job that we're doing. It should not take more than literally 30 to an hour. I'm not gonna lie, it's not gonna take long. It's just a driveway and then these two pillars up top. Uh, filling up, cranking that out. Um, and then we're rocking and rolling, guys. So first, this driveway was pretty dirty, not gonna lie. We're pre-soaking with about one to 1.7% downstreaming, just a nice sodium hypochlorite mix. Then we're coming around and surface cleaning. Then we'll apply another coat. But guys, you enjoy. We came to the front and this cast stone brick wall was nasty. I'll tell you that. We're going to downstream, then use some pressure, make sure everything is rinsed, and then keep on rocking and rolling, guys. So what I'm doing here is I'm grabbing my soft bristle brush and just applying an additional coat of six to 8% off any of the organic. These cast stones can really be tricky sometimes. So this is just something that I like to do. Just a little sweet cherry on top. You already know what I'm saying, but, um, really, really good with cast stone. I just like rubbing it in there, making sure that it's all good and really, really nice. And as I raffle up my hoses, if you watch these day in the lives, which I appreciate you guys, I always go over the customer acquisition, the job cost, and this should be interesting because you'll figure out what my minimum is. And then a secret hack for you guys to immediately install into your business. You guys should definitely subscribe if you already haven't, guys. I appreciate you. But the customer acquisition was through a referral via Facebook. 
a lot of people are on those, the moms and the neighborhoods and everything like that. They really like to give out referrals and we've been getting them. So we do good work. I am very confident in that. Then the job cost, minimum cost is 300 bucks just to get this truck out there, get the truck out of the shop. That is what my minimum is. And a secret hack for you guys, and guys, I'm working on this right now, is brand yourself. If you're going to an in-person quote, show up professional. Guys, look, I know you guys are seeing this, and it's like, oh, this guy has this sweatshirt and yada, yada, yada. We're working on it, all right? We're getting the truck wrapped. We're getting some new logos. We're getting all that stuff, but... Um, this is a secret hack, I guess, towards myself really is when you're branded and when you show up with a truck wrap, when you show up with the trailer, when you show up with nice clothes, when you show up and you know what the fuck you're actually talking about, you can raise your prices exponentially. So, um, maybe after the truck wrap and maybe after we get some nice ass clothes, our minimum goes up to 400. I don't know, but <laughs> that's my secret hack for you guys. Keep on rolling. And welcome to the morning shift. Let's get to it. We're getting the trailer out of the shed and we're going to rock and roll today, guys. Let's go and get it. So the first thing that we did in the morning was we had to grab some more bleach. So we got about 30 gallons worth. Uh, shout out to the local pressure washing store. Let's get it. Okay, guys, this is our second job of the video. This is small job, pressure washing the sidewalks, green, algae. We're just filling up our bad boy tank right now. We got some good flow from this house, which is nice. And we're going to rock and roll. Yeah, so guys, the algae on this thing was fucking humongous. It was so thick. It was thicker than a bowl of oatmeal. You already know what I'm saying. Shout out if you get that reference. But, um, dude, look, this algae was thick. We had to pre-soak it. Um, and you'll see later in the video that we're actually going to be using a pump-up spreader. Just get some of that additional algae off as well. We surface clean the concrete just to make sure that all the mold and the existing algae just on top of that surface, kind of the weaker versions of it, is off. Then we're going to apply it via pump-up spray. Very easy process. Okay, so on these thick algae spots, we're going to be applying a 6% mix on top of it. So it really builds it up and it cleans it a lot faster. So hopefully you guys can see that, but there's like these algae marks across the sidewalk and we're gonna rock and roll. Honestly, the pump up sprayer is awesome. You can kind of see it start to turn white right here. That's when you know it's working. Me and the customer was chopping it up. So he's a cool dude. Damn, that looks pretty good. We just let the SH take care of it, to be honest. We didn't have to surface clean much after this. That SH just wipes that green out. You just gotta let it dwell, keep applying. And then, ba 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 ba, boom! That's how we shake it over here. You know what I'm saying? Okay, guys. So I just got done. I actually talked with the customer for like 45 minutes. He's a super dope dude. His son's a billionaire, a ba 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 billionaire, which is nuts. Um, but guys, look, how we acquired this job was through a door hanger. Guys, look, I'll give you my secret hack about the door hangers in a quick second. But the job cost was 400 bucks in and out, an hour long. Not too bad. The secret hack that I've got for you guys is that you want to keep your door hangers relatively simple, but you want to keep touching those neighborhoods that you hit, in, hit on. Look at where your highest ticket is and touch those types of neighborhoods, guys. Um, keep it simple. Have pictures of you and your guys on there. Make it relatable. And quite frankly, the first time that you put a door hanger in a neighborhood, it's probably going to go in the trash. So you have to hit it multiple times, guys. Don't be afraid to go back to the same house and put a door hanger on there. This is how you get more eyes on you. So let's keep it going, guys. Guys, I got a new soul erupted into me today. We're branding everything. We are going to rock and roll. I'm grateful for my network, by the way. Um, just motivating the fuck out of me. And keep on rocking and rolling. I can't emphasize how big network is 
and why network is so key. You gotta share with like-minded individuals, guys, because if you don't, you're gonna get in these, like warped into a terrible mindset. So as long as you just have a few people that that share similar values as you, you will succeed. I, I'm wholeheartedly guarantee you. So just make sure you are conforming your thought process that is very similar to the people that you surround yourself with. But I got a new soul into me. I'm excited about it. And you're gonna see some big shit coming soon. Five forty-five. Tired as fuck. Um, but I'm gonna try and push myself to another limit now. So this is a non-negotiable. We're getting back to it. Um, but let's go get it. third job of the video we're cleaning all the concrete on this property we'll pre-soak surface clean and then we will post soak it's pretty thick mold i'm not gonna lie it'll come out really good but we're gonna ravel up these hoses right now we're gonna get our hoses going and we're gonna rock and roll man we're gonna rock and roll And this is what we're working with today, boys. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's nasty, it's disgusting, but hey, the job needs doing, you know, you already know what I'm talking about. Hey, and as I surface clean this concrete, I just wanted to address one thing. Look, at the gym, we didn't just do those push-ups and those dips. We also uh, did some incline bench press, some shoulder press and all that stuff. And boys, look, I'm about to shoot my shot and comment yes if I should shoot my shot. <laughs> A few of these gym girls, I'm like, sheesh, they're kind of fine, but let's keep on rolling. <laughs> Yeah, so we pre-soaked the area on this driveway, and the customer scared me a little bit whenever I came over there. I was like, what the heck? What the heck? But this driveway was actually pretty satisfying. I'm not going to lie. It was pretty fun actually cleaning this stuff. And look, this mold on this dang driveway was so thick. It was just like that dang sidewalk that we did uh, earlier in the video. But hey... It comes out pretty nice. I'm not going to lie. Sheesh. And by the way, I had to change sweatshirts because this is my wash clothes sweatshirt. And I had a nice California jacket on. So I didn't want to get that all bleached up and discolored because that bleach will just stain the shit out of your clothes. Man, look, I rock with nice people. I'm not going to lie. And when you're nice to me, man, I'll give you everything. So I threw in, you know these walls these front walls for free um they were a little bit dusty with some organic so yeah and we got done with the job and it looks pretty good i'm not gonna lie it came out really really solid this was thick i mean this is some of the thickest mold grime that we've had to deal with in a long time but dang it came out really damn good not gonna lie and boom, just like that, we're done. We're wrapping up the hoses. I got the sign in the front yard because I need everyone to go and see the beautiful white sidewalk that you see right there so that they can come in and get some pressure washing from Chaboy. But how we acquired this customer essentially was through... How, how did we acquire this? This customer was through our website. Uh, they found us on our website. They filled out a form. Boom, went over there immediate response they wanted it done they moved in from kentucky super nice people really liked them uh the job cost was 450 not too bad we were kind of in and out took a little bit longer about an hour 45 two hours to get it all done but not too bad and guys 
I guess I'll give you a secret hack. Why not? Why not? Why not? Um, guys, look, and I think this overpasses by a lot of people's heads, but make sure you're following up. And whenever I say follow up, I mean it in a different way. Is whenever you do a job, like you actually complete a job, follow up with them again that next week. Give them another touch. Hey, how's everything? Everything's still looking good. Do we need to touch up anything? Yada, yada, yada. You know, more times than not, they're not, you, you know, they're going to be very appreciative of your service and actually a very appreciative of the follow up. This actually builds rapport and the LTV, the lifetime value of the customer. And guys, that's about it. Winners win, losers lose. And if you want to win, you should definitely subscribe. I'm posting every Tuesday, Friday. I'm going to get on these follow ups. Some big stuff coming up. Let's get it. Stay tuned for the next video.